Uh, just a quick vid on how to uh, configure the linear gradient. Uh, the linear gradient is based on DBM. It's just uh, it isn't just a, a gradient applied to the uh, to the uh, viewport. It actually tracks the uh, uh, tracks the uh, DBM. So if you're going to set up uh, appearance RX display, this option how it was before. Uh, turn it off and on. Uh, these are the color nodes, so if you click on a color node, it'll turn red to show that it's selected. And you can delete the ones in the middle, you can't delete either end. So if we delete that one, delete the green one. You can also uh, drag uh, this around, it applies when you let go. If you click between two, it will put one in the center of those two at the color that exists at the center. Uh, you can select one, change the color with this drop down. Go to orange for example, drag the uh, there's the 93 and 72 dBm uh, area. Add another one in there, set that to bright green, drag that real close. And you can uh, tailor it to your heart's content really. Um, clicking on clear will clear everything. Uh, if you set the end one there to say bright green, it will just do a solid fill. It default that puts uh, just a default one in there. And the alpha for it is using the data fill alpha. Uh, so that's that, and of course you can turn it off and, and use the uh, the regular mode. Uh, so there we are, just a quick little video to show you how to use that. It's a first pass on this control. May put a zoom system in. The minus to plus, uh, minus 200 dBm to plus 200 dBm seems a bit extreme, but that is the, uh, the extents that this can uh, go to. So I thought I'd uh, keep it consistent. Uh, set up, uh, let's go to default again, and uh, yeah, there's some uh, changes where it doesn't go off the top, which is more apparent in a two receiver setup, but to drag this up before it would start drawing over the top of this, which was a bit, uh, bit incorrect, so uh, that's been fixed. There we are, just a quick vid on that, cheers.